What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. Uh, this was an arranged matchup against Above and Beyond. Um, there's actually, I just found this out, actually, this war. I definitely mixed the two clans. There's two Above and Beyond clans. Um, one has, I forget what it has. Someone's going to tell me in the comments. But one of the other uh, Above and Beyonds has a slightly different name. And I never realized there were two clans. So now I do. Uh, I felt definitely sheepish when I found it. I was like, come on, you're... You're kidding, right? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, moving on. Good victory for Above and Beyond, but not not really a great war for either side, I don't think. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe some Above and Beyond guys can tell me. Like, It seemed like for both sides, uh, nines had struggled. Uh, a lot of dips were needed for both sides. So I don't think overall either sides were, uh, were fully pleased with uh, the matchup, even though it really came down as like a nail-biter, you know, almost... Uh, almost a 1%, what is that, 0.97% victory for above and beyond. So really uh, fantastic job um, overall uh, by everyone. Just a, just one of those wars where things were not going well on either side, but then you'd have those small successes sort of back and forth in between all the failures that were going on. And it was just like, the, you know, a roller coaster ride the whole time. Um uh, so anyway, thanks for the war above and beyond. Uh, well done. Good job on the victory. Uh, Victor, uh, we're actually, these guys match Swarm right after and are matching 2.0 uh, tomorrow. Actually, I think we're doing the search. Um, so they get all of the 2.0 family here. So they are 1-0 against the 2.0 family. We'll see how that uh, that pans out. So I'm just going to jump right in, get uh, some of these replays. Uh, not a lot of action up top. Like I said, tons of dips for both sides. So not a lot of action to show in the uh, sort of 11s and 10s department, really. Just a few bullies up there. So jump right in. 21 was my first shot here. This is Val actually going in. Um, I think Val had a six back, just killing it for us. Love the army comp, six drags with a little bit of a queen, queen walk here. He notices this, this air defense, very exposed, goes ahead and zap quakes this air defense over near the nine o'clock section. Uh, you see this air defense also very exposed. We actually, we were talking about this in clan chat. Um, quite a few bases like this, uh, trying to like sort of are defending maybe against the HGH, um, but like the, these air defenses, like they're right on the outside, uh, so they're very easily exploitable, as uh, Val really does here. So Queen's gonna go ahead and get that first, or I guess second air defense because of the Zapquake now. Uh, gonna get a Tesla in the process, sort of just move in here, take care of all this jazz in this little nook. I think after the town hall goes down, does go back up to that mortar, maybe that gold mine. Uh, but really, the Queen's the Queen's job is pretty much done here. Because it doesn't need to worry about the CC troops, right? Because he's using dragons. <clears throat> I probably would have gone ahead um, on the drags by now because that's the scary part with only three minutes. Dragons are very, very slow. So that's something you always got to be mindful of is the time. Uh, but think of it. There's only a minute and a half left in this raid and still has not deployed the drags. There we go. Gets air defense number three taken care of. Um, goes ahead and drops a CC full of miners. Thought this was very tricky. Bing bang right to that next air defense and this base has none left queen's gonna go ahead and continue see what i mean though like could have done the minor drags quite a bit earlier and the queen still would have done the same thing down here but whatever um everything just moving in through the core now nice funnel on the outside gets these gets these drags moving right into the core <clears throat> has to take care of that baby dragon but no problem for the adult dragons down she goes a couple more puffs see you later drags have a pretty good like funnel sort of going they're going to end up going uh, counterclockwise around the base queen's going clockwise around the base so it's, it's perfect kind of for the cleanup right he's got once uh, i've talked about this in town hall 10 attacks how important it is does lose the queen and that was unfortunate um in the town hall 10 attacks you, you kind of need to initiate cleanup on both sides see his king step in there and continue the job on for the queen drags are going to kind of go through the core and get this top half and everything's going to meet up in this one compartment that is left to go here and the expo there. Nice black mine placement, but it's just not enough. <clears throat> King hits the ability. Definitely this base is done for. Wait a minute. Like I said, just, I bet this... Ha I don't know. I'd like to see what the total time was for that attack. Uh, it should really say the time expended um, somewhere in this screen. I wish it did. But it doesn't. Someone can also tell me that in the comments. <clears throat> Let's move on here. Number 17, uh, Sir Cass going in <clears throat> on Danny Boy. 
very uh, standard uh, queen walk overhaul we're going to see here. A um, couple of nice, uh, just back to the basic overhaul attacks. I like that. Um, this wasn't a bad base, but very sort of fun. The, the walls almost funnel the base itself. So really good base I find to use Valkson in, cause it, or, or on I should say. Because if you can get a, like a jump spell right over here and let them in up here, there's only really one spot they can go. Another jump spell right there basically unlocks the entire section of base. Um, just sort of because of this long compartment in there, um, because of this big open section right there, uh, it, it ends up just sort of forcing a natural funnel right exactly where you want your troops. So uh, Queen's doing some work, doing the Queen walk thing. Going to bust in, charge in now. And I'm getting that CC yanked out, getting Expo. Another point defense in the process. Really good value so far on this charge. Finally hits that Rage. <clears throat> bust through here comes a clan castle troops couple uh, loons and a drag uh, does get a tesla there as well so really good value overall in this charge because down goes a down go the cc troops in a gif see you later dragon and in come the valves from the nine o'clock jump spell number one is down so really good job because this this section is taken care of valves really only have one place to go you know straight across this base you can start reinforcing with stuff drop a cleanup wizard out there <clears throat> just always got to think of your cleanup guys it's this that's a huge thing I've been uh, looking at lately. A lot of the 99% attacks, it's just a matter of being a little more reactive on your cleanup troop, or just even ensuring you save a cleanup troop or troops. Um, is a, makes a huge difference, huge, huge difference. Look at this. There is finally in the his last three hogs. Still has two cleanup wizards. Going to go ahead and drop it up there. You know, could have even dropped those earlier. That's what I'm saying. And you're going to save yourself valuable seconds. There's so many moments I know when your queen's birth, just hitting on a wall and there's one storage left to go. But um, just something to always think about in, with your attacks, guys, is how, what are you bringing for cleanup? And how is that going to work out? <clears throat> now, in this case, he's got <laughs> pretty much every troop left up. Absolutely smashed it. But <laughs> so not the best example, but you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, let's move on. Number 16, Bucko. <clears throat> Another very, like, kind of long base. So, double jump Govaho. Very standard. Um, not even a walk here. Let's just go in with two golems. Uh, these compartments are just like runways for these golems to just walk across this base because get and get huge tanky value for the Valks. Valks are going to get in there and shred everything very, very quickly. <clears throat> jump spell goes down, just letting everything in nice and slow. In go the Valkyries. Poison goes down right on that baby drag. Does miss the Valkyrie and the uh, they, they kind of straighted the funnel troops. So that is a little unfortunate. Never want that to happen. See this Valk's going to get in here. Try and play with this queen, but doesn't stand a chance. Down she goes. But look at, look at this. The runway just runs the Valk's right down. It's like a run from right here to the queen chamber. Let's jump in. Down goes that queen. Getting pretty good value. Does lose most of the Valk's that jumped in there. I think there's only two left. Um... But heal spell kept them going. If he didn't drop that heal there, they definitely all would have pittered out. Um, they're going to continue to do cleanup. He's already got hogs moving in now into the <clears throat> 10 o'clock apartment, reinforcing slowly. Still has four hogs. Look at this. There's really a Tesla, three, four point defense to go. Still has four hogs in the bag. Does trigger that bomb. <clears throat> Sends in the rest of the hogs now, just getting them right in on top of those point defense, doing, uh, doing some pinging. I might have waited a minute because realistically this arch tower would be shooting that uh golem if you just waited another second for those but no big deal everything's going to work through this base see same thing like once the queen gets through here it's just a runway up the base and she's going to get the rest of that cleanup has some cleanup troops down here probably would have he had dropped two whiz up there or maybe it was only one yeah there's two whiz right there like i maybe would have went held one and dropped it lower um, just always want to get the, the two sides of the open end of that uh, circle. There's always going to be like where you break for the funnel, right? Of course, there's these crazy trash buildings right there. But the Valks burst through. But you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. This might have been actually a good example because of this builder's hut right here. Boom, finally gets through. Just seconds, absolutely seconds can make a raid sometime. I should really be noting the times on these if I'm going to talk about this. I'm an idiot. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Let's actually check that one again. Sorry. 219. So now you crush that. You crush that. <clears throat> Alright, moving on. Paragon Hunter. This guy is a beast. Bringing his HGH here. Very, very crazy attack. And it just um, 
speed that up just a bit because it's really about the fun. I like the two for basically three. He gets the Arch Tower Cannon and that Mortar out of uh, two balloons. So really good trade on those balloons. Let's the Giants in. Um, they all go right down into this uh, first little intersection. They're going to beat through this wall under that Rage in a second. Through they go. And just lead everything into the core. Like, if you can manage to get that little death ball, I've talked about this before, it's the Protoss death ball, HGHB, get it in there under the rages. These compartments just melt instantly, like one at a time, bam, 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 and then you just got to reinforce with hogs. Still has 10 hogs. There's only two compartments and, you know, three compartments to go, I guess, and this air defense, but... <clears throat> let the rest of this uh move on giants still doing tanking bowlers do get ahead a little bit here which is always a scary moment to see this bomb here it can do big damage but bowlers just missed it they do take uh damage there but boom there goes the heal let's get those bowlers right back up reinforce now with those 10 hogs he had everything's going to meet up now in this nine o'clock apartment it's the only thing really left to go in this base still sending hogs in just a few at a time nice cleanup wizard up there as well everything else is going to clean up that bottom section no problem Arch Tower, down it goes. Look, I don't think he lost a giant this whole raid. Whole raid. You know what? To me, that says that this base didn't have very good spring traps. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, there should be no reason you have that many giants left if they walk through the, your entire base. I know the bowlers got out ahead a little bit like once they got down there. But, um, yeah, absolutely. You should be throwing uh, three giants a, three giants a spring if uh, at least somewhere <clears throat> a couple times. Maybe they did, maybe I missed it, but that was a lot of Giants left at the end. Let's just finish this off with Dr. D, <clears throat> one of the newer members of Invicta. A lot of new faces in Invicta, actually. It's uh, really good. We actually had just, overall, in the last couple of weeks, we promoted, I think, five guys to 2.0. Um, so that always means that a lot of uh, Swarm guys move up to Invicta, and definitely a lot of new faces there. And uh, Dr. D is relatively new, uh, really just smashes it with a straight-up, Shattered Goho. He even brings uh, Max Hogs, which I thought was interesting in the Clan Castle, but just crazy old school attack. Like you know, it had the one HEHP. You know, was, out of all these attacks, where they are very old school, especially this one. I can't believe it. Right, Poison goes down and just lures that CC out, gets the golems in, gets the queen taken care of, everything looking good. Right, all your all your necessities other than your bombs are taken care of at this point. Um, but knows he's going to get a single trigger. He floods it here because he, so he'll ensure that he triggers that first bomb. I think there's a second one there, but that heal goes down. Yep, there it is. So he knows the single trigger there and has that heal down ready. And I'm 99% sure he purposely flooded that with hogs because he knew that exactly was going to happen. And does lose a few to spring traps there, right? But there's just so many now that DGB, the hogs diffused it under the heal, didn't lose a thing to it. Has still six hogs. There's a whole bunch in the core, right? Queen is still alive doing cleanup. Does finally lose that king beaten on a wall there but really there's that like there's nothing to worry about over here heal spell goes down for the rest of those hogs has a few in kind of trickling in from the outside look at this big pack of hogs coming in just crazy and there's a whiz tower to go this base is absolutely done for poison spell goes down queen is still alive beaten on walls in there just smashes it with this standard shattered goho i love it dr d my man it's tree in the bag <clears throat> all right nice work great uh great victory there uh, above and beyond like i said one and oh um i don't know i actually got to check i'm going over to do um i'm doing a promotional video i believe for swarm uh i think i'll do it tomorrow night i hope the yeah i should still have it if i can have this one tonight then that one will still be there tomorrow night um Anyhow, a promotional video for Swarm, just kind of talking about the the sort of where it's at nowadays. I'm sure a lot of people don't even know. And uh, I'm gonna show that recap in the background. I don't know what the results were because actually, in all fairness to Swarm, I'm sorry, I should keep more up to date with exactly what's going on with you guys. But um, absolutely, I'm coming over to do a promotional video and I'm gonna show the sort of like a, a silent recap of that war to show the attacks in the background. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what the, what the result was. I know I know Swarm had an advantage, uh, so I don't know. Who knows? Uh, anyhow, I guess we will see you guys on the weekend above and beyond. Victor, always love you. Um, yeah, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out. <laughs>